Okay, Eric's gonna show us a uh, Thai 29er here. One of my uh, one of my favorites. So yeah, see. this is also one of my favorites as well. I offer these in steel and titanium, and this is a. Uh, 120 mil fork with the tapered steer tube and the new Chris King 44 mil uh, inset headset on that one. And then this is kind of my version of a trail bike 29er. Room for two fours. I size off uh, the two four Ardent is what I kind of use. Um, so it's got 17 inch chain stays on it and then I offset the seat tube a little bit for some more front derailleur clearance. And it's also got full gears. Um, in this case, it uses a five arm crank, so it can have a 30 tooth middle ring and a 42 tooth big ring. Um, so with that 30 tooth middle ring and the 1236 in the back, you got, you can almost just ride nice. it as a one by nine. Yes. Um, but you also have a 22 tooth granny for, for the big days. Yeah. And um, I build them on this particular style if it is a suspension bike. I build them pretty beefy in the front triangle for just more pinpoint steering and then I don't overbuild them in the back just for some more compliance and also as you get the chain stay shorter the ride does become a bit rougher because you're bringing that rear wheel underneath you yes. you know and so this particular bike has the Easton Carbon Havens which are new and uh, but I still do things like a 28 inch wide bar uh, four pot hope front brake with a 185 rotor 160 rotor in the back so nothing weight weenie and it's 24 pounds which 24 isn't pounds. yeah not crazy light but it's pretty light for you know a five inch travel hardtail with some some real stuff on it and that's that's with tubes in the tires wow um so the frame itself is three and a half pounds for this and, size huh? yeah and this is basically a large uh -huh. it's a 24 and a quarter top tube 19 inch seat tube but they're all custom, so right. there's really no no limit on that. And uh, looks like you can, do, you can do a lot of damage with this bike. Huh? Have yeah. Fun. What I what I set out to do was I've always been a fan of full suspension, uh -huh. and uh, I do build full suspension bikes using the Ventana rear end. Right. And uh, this is kind of what I think could actually butt heads with maybe like a uh, three inch travel full suspension bike. Absolutely. You know. So, Absolutely. Yeah, they're a, lo a lot of fun to ride. Yeah, the, the guys on 29er, uh, hardtail that are aggressive, yep. um, can keep up. Yeah. And given this kind of fork and that kind of stability on the headset. Yeah, uh, and it's it's pretty slack. It's 68 and a half wow. um, unsagged. Uh -huh. And then with sagged 120 fork, it's 70 degrees. Uh -huh. um, and then the seat tube is 73 degrees when the bike sagged. Right. So it is still designed for climbing, but you can go fast on yes. it, you know. It's, and that's it's, one of the advantages of custom is you can use uh, material and geometries yeah. to really tailor a hardtail yeah. uh, into something that's sometimes beyond what people think a hardtail can do. Yeah, and I, and I think the slackness of it helps counterbalance the shortness of the chain stays, right. you know. Because when you shorten up the wheelbase, now you almost need to create more stability. Right. And then also, it's just designed to be ridden aggressively, so right. it's kind of more tailored to that, the new the new style of 29er geometry, which is short and slack. Yes, yes, you that's, know? That's, that, that's what I saw uh, yeah. last year. Yes. People were, were expanding the, yeah. the range well, of the When I started seeing, you know, bikes like the Banshee and the Canefield, I was, I was definitely like, I got to build a few yeah. of those. So <laughs> I did, like fun. Yeah, so I did a couple steel prototypes and uh -huh. then uh, rode them and experimented with the chain stays down to uh, 424 right. um, millimeters. And then I kind of refined it and found the head tube angle I liked and, right. and I was like, I got to build myself yeah. one of these out of tie. So this one's actually for me. Well, it looks like Eric knows how to have fun and he knows how to use the technology, materials and geometries yeah. to, to optimize it for the buyer. Yeah, thanks. All right. All right, good talking to you.